Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the blogging tools that are integrated into the Trade Controller environment. Now when the Trade Controller first starts up, it will automatically load information on the latest blog update. If we select the alert here, information will be displayed on that update. Now to access the blogging tools, we select Tools, Trading Blog and Community. Now the screen is divided into three sections. The top section, which is a read-only record of the most recent blog update. The middle section, which provides basic configuration, along with some options here. And the bottom section is for administrative purposes only. Now the default option is to automatically load any blog updates into the default browser as soon as they are sent out. The other default option is to automatically sound an alert when that happens, to draw your attention to that if you're not actually looking at your system but you are in the vicinity. The auto load blog into custom browser is an option that will be covered in a separate tutorial. If I select this button, the latest blog will be loaded into the default browser as shown. That is effectively what happens as a result of this configuration option here being set. So every time Blackbox send out a blog update, it will automatically be loaded into the default browser as shown, notifying you of the event. Now what we'll go through now is an example of how a member would post a comment to the blog along with a screenshot. So let's select Load Latest. And go down to the comment section. Now Matt has posted a comment drawing attention to how clearly Price interacts with the daily equidistant zones. To go with this, he needs to also make available a screenshot. Now for a screenshot to be available for everyone to look at, it needs to exist somewhere on a server on the internet. Now to avoid members having to have their own server space, Blackbox provide the option for them to upload to the Blackbox web server any screenshots to go with their blog comments. So let's now demonstrate how to do that. Now here's the daily chart showing what Matt is describing. This is the bull move today from the midline at 10,956 up to the midline at 11,251. And he mentioned that it's not a one-off. And when you look left, this is what he's referring to. You can see the price clearly interacts with the levels, the boundaries and the midlines often. So what we need to do now is take a screenshot of this. So we do this using the screenshot tool. Full details of this are described in the tutorial on the screenshot tool itself. We have the option to add additional information to the file name should we require it. So for now we're just going to put D1 equidistant zones. OK, the screenshot has now been taken and automatically added to the database. Next, we switch back to the Trade Controller and select the option Screenshots. This now displays the Upload Screenshot tool. In the top half of the window, we have a list of the uh, currently uh, generated screenshots for the selected market DAX30 and the month of January 2019. At the moment, there is a total of 36 screenshots. There are three modes available. One is upload, one is view, and one is delete. For now, we're just going to deal with the default mode, which is upload. Now, the files are listed with the most recent at the top. So if I click this one here, you'll see that that's the file we just generated, and we added the comment D1 equidistant zones. The reason there are crosses in these fields here is because the screenshot itself is not associated with a trade. Full details on this 
are explained in the tutorial on the screenshot tool. But when a screenshot is associated with a trade, the trade ticket number is built into the file name there. And that makes it easy to access via the journaling tools built into the trade controller itself. In the bottom section here is a list of the screenshots that are on the server in the area that is allocated for Matt. And at the moment, there are no screenshots available because Matt hasn't uploaded any to his account. So let's now upload the screenshot. To do this, we simply double click it. When complete, the following message is displayed and also informing us that the URL has been copied to the clipboard for use in pasting into the blog comment section. If for some reason that got overwritten using another process, it can be automatically regenerated by clicking this field here. And copying it. You can now see that the file we just uploaded is automatically listed below. Before moving on, let's quickly demonstrate the view mode. If we select view and double click the file, it'll automatically load the file into the Windows Photo Viewer. And you can see there that that's the one that we intend to upload. Uh, just in case we weren't sure, it's a quick way of seeing what that file looks like before upload. If we select delete, you get the option to delete the file. Also, if you want to delete the file on the server, you simply double click it and select yes or no. Next, we switch back to the blog and paste the URL for the screenshot that we just uploaded. Then when we're done, we select post comment. And there it is. The screenshot is now available for all members to uh, view themselves, either by collect, clicking it directly or open it, opening it in a new tab or new window. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.